Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good night for some of you. We've got an international community that interacts with us here at Common Time. So I want to offer up all of the salutations, all of the greetings for them all, and welcome you to the second week of our weekly Wednesday wisdom webinars from me, the Outreach and Education Coordinator with Common Time, Michael Skilling. Although this is the second week we've done this, this is the first one that's going to be posted. And we are so excited. This week, you know, we've had our educator thon where we've had educators from all over the globe signing up to use Common Time to bring guest artists into their classrooms. We've even had an educator this week inquire about live streaming or hosting pre-recorded concerts of her own students. She was looking for a safe, consistent space that respects privacy, and she has to look no further. So we're hoping that we can expand that part of what we do as well um, to more schools instead of just the arts organizations that usually host the content there. So welcome once again. My name is Michael Skillern. I'm the Education and Outreach Coordinator here with Common Time. And this is the second installment of our Wisdom Wednesdays webinar series where myself will be joining you right here on the Common Time platform every Wednesday to talk about the things that matter most to me as an educator and as an artist. And hopefully they matter to you too. Since we are in the middle of our educator recruitment drive, a lot of you have heard out from me or members of the team personally. We are going to keep today simple. We're going to give you a brief tour of the platform, an overview of what we're trying to do here at Common Time, and then some of the top reasons why you as an educator need Common Time in your classrooms today. Excuse me while I sip from my best dad ever mug. Let's get started. So what do we do here at Common Time? Well, Common Time is an all-inclusive arts platform that's looking to connect artists, educators like you, individuals, and arts organizations. Ooh, excuse me, arts organizations through enlightening, impactful, insightful, and meaningful live virtual sessions. One of our goals is to empower artists, engage your learners, and expand arts outreach through our purpose-built, safe, secure, and consistent video conferencing infrastructure. Those of you here in the webinar with me will notice you are in a common time video session right now. This is exactly what it will look like when you are hosting guest artists for your sessions. To give you a more succinct, more specific, more direct explanation of what common time is going to be for you educators. For you as an educator, common time is a artist platform that allows you to bring guest artists into your classrooms virtually on demand at the touch of a finger. Our entire roster of artists, payment, scheduling, and video conferencing is all done on one simple, easy to use platform at www.commontimeonline. Now that you've got a brief overview of what the company does and what we can provide to you, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the platform, allow you to see how it works while I talk about a little bit more of the ins and outs and explain how you can use Common Time in your classroom today. Let's get to it. Okay, so right now I am logged into Common Time as an educator. When you sign up for free, register, registration, excuse me, as an educator is free on the Common Time platform. When you sign up, this is what your home screen will look like. At the top, we've got a menu here, artist. 
That's where our roster of artists lives, arts organizations. That's where our roster of arts organizations live, memberships, blog, and then our about. So scrolling down the home page, you've got our artist search mechanism where you can search for artists by profession. You can also search by dates of availability. If you type in a date here, it will show you all artists that are available on said date. You can also search by session type. Here on the Common Time platform, we allow educators to book several different types of sessions with artists, those being the 60 or 30 minute private lessons suitable for up to two students, the visiting artist classroom for a half day or full day option, which is suitable for large groups of students, the master class, which is also suitable for large groups of students, and the visiting artist classroom sessions, and a 90 minute private lesson. We'll go into more detail about what each of those sessions entails here shortly, but these all go into our search mechanism that helps you filter through the loads and loads of artists we have. I think currently on the platform visible now, there are about 40 artists, but we have another 25 to 30 artists that are still being vetted. One thing that I personally love about Common Time as an educator is that we actually take our time to make sure that these artists are who they say they are, make sure they have valuable experience working with learners and making sure that they are experts at their craft so that we can give you custom personalized learning experiences by bringing a guest artist into your classroom. In addition to our search mechanism, you can also search for artists by category. For example, if you are a drama teacher, you can click theater here. And we've got a Broadway musician with experience in music and theater. We've got a professional dancer and choreography out of Germany, well-versed in the worlds of theater and dance. And a new common time artist, Jasmine Akakpo, who is making waves out in LA, who has sessions starting from $15. And she is ready today to get into your theater classes to talk to them about acting on screen, acting on stage, producing, directing, set design. She is so skilled, so personable, and can build real meaningful connections with your students. Now, while you're browsing this screen, you will notice these toggles for skill level and language. You could filter for skill level. So all three of these artists are working, able to work with intermediate students. What about advanced students? All three of them work with advanced students as well. Beginners, all three of them also work with beginners. So I'll go back to the home page here. Okay, let's click music. Music by far, we have the most artists on the Common Time platform. And you can see them all here. You can see their specialties in the tags that they have listed. Okay, and there's also a chat function where if you see Joshua Alexander and you're interested in his work as a choral director, you can see the prices that he has set in his headshot. You can then chat with them directly in the platform. All of this is done here. We like this because it's safe and secure and it prevents you from sharing your personal information and it prevents our artists from sharing their personal information as well. Lastly, we have a little bit of our mission statement here. We have a how it works, sign up, connect, schedule, and session. It's really that easy. You sign up for free as an educator on the Common Time platform. You figure out what works best for you. Who do you need in your classroom? What type of context would you like to add? What type of expertise do you think your students would benefit from in a meaningful way? Connect with that person, schedule them, and then have the session. And we have a quick YouTube video here explaining this in a more visual way. And we have some reviews here from some Common Time educators. All right, going up to the top menu here, you can click the Artist tab to see the full roster of artists that we have here. 
boy is this list getting long and they cover all arts disciplines from visual art to dance to theater and drama to music all of these artists are available for sessions now to come in as a guest artist into your classrooms and add something to the learning experiences that you are already so skillfully providing. Next tab up top, we have arts organizations. Common Time also partners with member arts organizations to offer virtual accompaniments to some of the in-person programming that they offer. The reason that arts organizations like to host live streamed events with us is because number one, our platform is safe consistent and secure. We are the only video conferencing platform that is dedicated wholly to the artists, built for arts educators and artists and arts organizations by arts educators, artists, and arts organizations. One of our premier member arts organizations here, the Domenico Savino Music Association out of Italy has been hosting a number of live operas that you can purchase now. Have your students ever seen a fully staged opera production? Well, they can download a pre-recorded version. It was offered live at the time of air, but now it's available for you to download and share that with your students. This organization also offered a virtual masterclass series for voice, cello, piano, and I think clarinet, where students from around the world were able to beam in right there and see some international professional performing artists. Next, our membership tab. Even though membership or registration for the Common Time platform for you educators is free, you do have to pay the guest artists that come in. One of our goals is to empower artists. And one of the ways that we do that is by allowing them to set their own rates for the different types of sessions and services that they will provide. Likewise, once you're chatting and communicating with an artist, depending on your needs and their needs, you all can agree on prices, even if they are outside of that artist quote for individual sessions. I like to do this as an artist based on school need. I personally do not like to let finances keep students from having a meaningful learning experiences. So I can't speak for all the artists, but for myself personally, I am always willing to work with different types of budgets. But for you educators that are gonna be booking sessions with amazing international guest artists in your arts classrooms, we do offer individual, institutional, which would be more for a school and corporation, which would be better suited for for-profit companies. We offer these tiered membership levels that allow you multiple logins to the platform. They also allow you package deals that will greatly reduce the fee that you pay to the artist. Since we're empowering artists, they will not necessarily see this discount, but you as an educator will. And we want to use these tiered memberships to help you engage learners the best way that you can by bringing in high quality international guest artists to your classroom. Okay, some of the benefits of a tiered membership is discounts and deals. That's the biggest one. Invite only events. We will have promotions to get more artists into your classrooms to help you use the platform more than you'd already be using it. And we also like to feature our educators as well as our artists on social media and let the world know what type of amazing work you're doing. Next, we have our blog here. This is where we offer long form updates for what we're doing. A new initiative that the Common Time team has put together is the new Common Time one-on-one -on -one interview series where I, Michael Skidden, sits down with the educators, arts entrepreneurs, artists, wellness experts, and just people that I think that have something to say about our students, about our learners, about the arts community, and just about life in general that I think would benefit the community that we're trying to build here at Common Time. So head over to commontime.online, click the blog button, scroll down here and check out what we've been doing with our educator -a -thon. 
what we've been doing with our Common Time one-on-one -on -one series, what we did the previous two weeks with our artists of Thon, where we about doubled to tripled our artist roster. All of that is available in the long form on our blog. And clicking the About page here gives you more info about our mission, our vision, what we're aiming to provide, what we're promoting, and who we are as a team, from our leadership all the way down to the rest of the team. Once again, to remind you, we here at Common Time, from the lens of you educators, we are a guest artist platform that's looking to connect you and your students with high quality international artists across all artistic disciplines from around the world in order to provide engaging, enlightening, meaningful live virtual sessions on demand at your fingertips. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. How do you book a session? We're going to go here into the artist roster and look at exactly how we can book an artist to come into our classrooms. So let's say we go back to our homepage and I don't know, we're looking for someone experienced in acting. Or we're looking for someone experienced in choir. Or we're looking for someone experienced in dance technique or we're looking for someone experienced in DJing. We have an artist to fit most, if not all of the needs of our arts educators. But let's take a look at Jaskarin. He is a music producer. He has specialties in mixing, music software, production, electronic dance, techno music, and DJing. For you music educators out there, you know that the use of technology, especially as more schools move to the one-to-one -one device format, people are using Soundtrap, Chrome Music Lab, even Garage Bands if you're at an iPad school. All these different ways to get students involved with music from a technical standpoint, that might not be your expertise. But with Common Time, you can have a guest artist signed up and ready, scheduled to come into your class and work with your students on demand at your fingertips. Once you click on an artist, you are able to see their artist profile. You can see that Jaskarin here is able to work with beginners, intermediate and advanced learners. He also speaks Hindi and Punjabi in addition to English. If you're trying to add global context to your students, maybe you'd like them to learn a few words of Hindi. Maybe you actually have an Indian community at your school and you think that this is someone that can connect with them on a personal, meaningful way. You're able to scroll down here and see their artist statement. This is how he describes himself as an artist. And this kind of gives you a window into what he could provide to your students. You can see a photo gallery. You can see a video. I think this is video of some music that he has produced. You can see the specializations here and you can click them. Do you need someone that's to do producing? Do you need someone that's knowledgeable at DJing? Do you need someone that's a specialist at events and the technology behind that? You clicking that lets the artist know a little bit more about what you're looking for when you book the session. You scroll down and you see the types of sessions that this artist will provide. First off, you have a meet and greet here. The meet and greet is a free 10 minute, but expandable to 30 minute session that allows you to connect with the artist right here on our purpose built included video conferencing platform to get a feel for each other, learn more about this artist and learn more about how this artist can take their specialties and weave that into what you're trying to accomplish, whether it's for a concert or presentation or your curricular goals. 
This artist also offers 30, 60, 90 minute private lessons for up to one to two students. If you've got that special student who deserves some TLC or they're going above and beyond, this option would be great for you. He has a vid visiting artist classroom option for one to five hours where he can work with up to 20 students at a time. And you all will work together to plan a session. If you have students in your drama class that are going to be making a podcast using GarageBand on your class set of iPads, bringing in someone like Jess Garn for one hour can help the students master some of those basic music technology skills, as well as some more advanced skills like the mixing and mastering, changing the sound of their voice. All of these activities that a lot of you are already doing can be taken to level 10 with a common time artist. Lastly, Jessica also offers an intense masterclass. Now, this option he has listed here is up to eight students. So here's one thing to notice. If you purchase a three hour visiting artist classroom session, it does not have to be from eight to 11 on Thursday. He could come in for an hour, three separate days. He could maybe come in for 30 minutes, six separate days. You see what I mean? It's flexible, customizable learning experiences, bringing high quality international guest artists into your classroom. Now, I spoke with you earlier about the chat function. Right here on the platform is the chat function where you can chat here and you can say, hey, Jess Karn, I am a dance teacher looking to help my students make some music and soundtrack to accompany an improv dance concert they are doing. Can you help? You send that message, Just Karn will see it, and then he's able to combine his expertise with exactly what you need for a customized personal learning experience for you and your students. So once you have spoken and you've chatted with Just Karn, you can move down to the booking phase. You can say, I think I need a visiting artist classroom. I'd like for him to come an hour each on two different days for $150. And you can scroll down here and see his availability. Lucky for me, and hopefully for you too, the availability listed is shown in your time is shown in your time. So one thing to keep in mind is that this artist is in India. So for example, on Wednesday, his availability doesn't start until 7.30 p.m. my time. I am in Dubai. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you are selecting an artist, you wanna make sure that their availability links up with your time zone. If you are booking an artist from the opposite side of the world, it is very possible that their availability would be at the opposite time of yours. But you can see all of that listed in your time zone here. You can skip forward week by week. You can skip forward month by month as well. And you can even go to today, seeing that this artist is available today, starting at 7.30 p.m. my time, I am in Dubai. But that time's gonna be different for you, but it's in your time zone. Then next, you select, we have a two hour session. So we need to select four slots of 30 minutes each. So we want an hour on Wednesday and an hour on Friday. You select those times, you get a little overview here. Then you head over to complete booking. You enter your payment details here and you click confirm order and boom, you're done a customized, meaningful, live virtual session with an expert music technology connoisseur from Delhi, India, on demand at your fingertips. You'll see a toggle menu here. We do give educators the option to record their sessions. These sessions are only available to the artist 
and to the educator through their individual accounts. We do not share these sessions on social media except with permission and bar faces for promotional reasons. But once again, that is totally up to you. You as the educator hold all the power in that situation. So that's a brief overview of our goal. If you're looking through the lens of an educator, we are a guest artist service that's looking to connect educators like you with professional musicians, dancers, thespians, and visual artists from around the world on demand at your fingertips. We empower artists by letting them set their prices, but we also empower educators by offering a tiered membership system to give you bulk deals and discounts to make sure that finances are not a barrier between you and the learning experiences you know that your students need. You can use the search feature to find an artist that works for you. Let's look at Manon here out of New York in the USA. She is a verified common time artist, highly classically trained ballet dancer, the Alvin Ailey School. Wow. And I'm not surprised just for the camera. I'm actually surprised. She has specials, specializations in solo dance, group dance, ballet, modern dance, improvisation, and movement. This is great for PE teachers, finding new exciting ways to get your children to explore their bodies and explore how they move. You can select whatever specialization that you might like. This person offers 30, 60, 90 minute private lessons and one and two hour visiting artist classroom as well as the free 10 minute meet and greet. You can go right in here into the chat function this artist also speaks French. How amazing would it be for one of your primary theater classes to actually learn some French while also receiving high quality ballet instruction for their next informants for the PTA and other parents? How amazing would it be for your PE class to learn a few words of French while also doing movement exercises to explore the full range of motion? How amazing would it be for some of your music classes to explore not only musical improvisation, but how that translates to body improvisation while also learning some of their vocabulary words in French. These are the type of cultural connections we're looking to build here. And you can favorite an artist. You can favorite an artist so that you will see them and they will come up in your artist favorites. Lastly, let's look at your profile here. You can click on your picture there and you've got an account. On your account, you can see your recent messages. You also have a referral link. We have a referral program where if you bring more educators or artists to our platform, we will help you provide more meaningful, engaging learning experiences for your students by helping to eliminate some of that financial burden. Although we are trying to empower our artists by letting them set their own rates and take ownership of their teaching businesses, our business model also helps us to support educators any way we can. You also get a drop down of your upcoming sessions. If you book a virtual series from one of our arts organizations or artists, we allow arts organizations and artists to host live streamed events, recitals, webinars, art shows, all of that. It will come up here and your messages. The personal info tab has your personal info. I'll go through mine quickly so you all don't know everything about me. Your schedule. You also can pick your schedule for when you are available as well. That helps the scheduling become much easier because then the artist as well, when you're in communicating with them, can see this as well. And it can help you line up what you need. This list here is a list of all your past sessions where you will have access to the recordings. 
the favorites tab down here highlights the artists that you have favorited. We want our sessions to be so personal and so good that you repeat these guest artists and you keep them coming into your classroom. And the favorites tab helps you do that. The membership tab here helps you manage the different types of memberships we offer. We spoke about that earlier. And lastly, we have an additional messages tab that helps you keep track of your messages in a more traditional messaging type format and interface. All right, that was a wild ride. Thank you for going through that with me. Once again, from the lens of an educator, we are a guest artist platform that's looking to connect you with artists from around the world to get them into your classrooms for some engaging learning experiences. Payment, scheduling, searching, and video conferencing is all on site, in-house, on demand, at your fingertips. We are the only arts focused video conferencing platform that has a little black book of users. For you, the educators, that is going to be the artist. All right, so now let's get into a little bit of why you need to be bringing guest artists into your classes. The number one reason, most of your students are not going to know a professional artist outside of you. Are you the only dancer that your students know? Are you the only actor or actress? or thespian that your students know? Are you the only singer your students know? I think that that is a problem. Our schools, especially in this new wave of STEM, they're introducing our students to engineers, mathematicians, scientists all day. I remember even seeing there is a new Barbie doll that's a scientist. They also have one that's a music teacher. I digress. Our students need to know that there are real working professional artists out there too, other than this small amount that they see on the television. Bringing in guest artists into your classroom helps humanize the arts so that your students can construct meaning in what you're teaching. No more, why are we learning this? No one ever asks, why do we learn physics? It's because we know, we've been trained and conditioned to know that physics leads to engineering, engineering leads to a job but all of us spend all day consuming media. So we've got to let our students know that being a musician, a music producer, a DJ, an audio engineer, mixing and mastering, live events, live sound, jingle writers, we've got to let our students know that these are real careers that regular people go into, just how regular people become accountants. Being a professional in music, in dance, whether you're choreographing, opening up your own dance studio, dancing, dancing on stage, musicals, moving to New York, LA, whether you're going to be a visual artist, a photographer, a wedding videographer, graphic design, marketing, our students need to know that these are real careers. One way that you can do that and help them build meaning with what you're teaching is by using the Common Time platform to bring in guest artists into your class as often as you can. We're humanizing the arts the same way that we humanize STEM right now. We want our students to understand the value of the arts. Like I just said, our students spend all day when they're outside of school, whether it's on TikTok, Nickelodeon, Instagram, YouTube, Cartoon Network, they're doing nothing but taking in art. Yet, they have a hard time seeing the true value behind what they're learning, the emotional implications, the cultural connections being made, that global context, bringing in a guest artist to share their experiences, share their expertise and share their language is an amazing way to help your students build their own personal value for what they're learning. Guest artists help you build meaningful global context. Drama does not exist in the four walls of PS 118 middle school. 
Drama exists in every corner of the globe. Do your students realize that what they're learning is bigger than them? Bringing in a guest artist from Germany, from LA, from Vienna, from Hong Kong is going to build that global context and help your students understand that what they're learning is bigger than them. The arts truly are an international language, but how often do our students get to actually experience that? Next, most of the popular international curriculums, whether that's IGCSE out of the UK or the foundational stages and the key stages, whether that's the International Baccalaureate, whether that's the Common Core from the US, whether that's the Ontario Standard out of Canada, all of these cur different curricula have a respond or analyze or aesthetic valuation of music as the common core calls it they all have a group of standards related to that idea we're done having our students respond to videos on youtube we're done using textbook examples and trying to get our students to describe and experience that why not bring in a middle eastern artist who can sing songs in arabic who can play the traditional Arabic lute, who can talk about Persian influences in music. Why not allow your students to ask someone who lives and breathes that culture these questions directly, allow them to respond in real time to some music, allow them to give feedback to a real international artist that's singing a song not in their native language that the students know. Give them that opportunity to fulfill that respond, analyze, that aesthetic valuation of music. And all of those criteria usually have a quote, world music implication with them as well. Have your students actually met someone who plays non-Western music? Someone who does theater outside of America? someone who does dance from a different culture. If they haven't, you need common time today. Next, I know all of you educators are experts and geniuses, but we've got to give our students understanding and knowledge that is bigger than ourselves. The best way to do that is by bringing in a guest artist. A key example, I come from the band world. I am not a flute player, I'm a percussionist. When I had a flute player that was struggling to set her embouchure and make a sound, I didn't struggle over it. I contacted my administration, I got a small budget, and I called the local professor from Georgia State University, my alma mater, to come in and help me. I needed help. But we realized here at Common Time, especially when you expand arts education to the whole world, every corner of the globe does not have access to these people. Every corner of Georgia doesn't have access to these people, let alone the rest of the United States. But using the Common Time platform, you can have a professional bassoon player in your class tomorrow showing your students how to make reads. You can have a professional violin player showing your students how to bow hold tomorrow. You can have a professional choir director running a sectional with your tenors tomorrow. This is amazing, folks. How often do you tell your students something over and over every day, but as soon as someone else tells them, it's, it's a mind-blowing fact? That's happened to me many times, and if that's happened to you, you need guest artists in your classroom. Common Time has made it affordable through our tiered memberships. And we also allow you the opportunity to help empower artists. We're teaching the arts, but when's the last time you've empowered an artist? You can do that on the Common Time platform by bringing guest artists into your classroom. You can use us to engage your students with a new voice, a new perspective, a new idea, and a new way of thinking that's outside of your own. And we all know that can be so meaningful. All right, let's talk about it. Differentiation. All of your lesson planners over the past few years have included differentiation in it. Some of us know a lot. Some of us know a little. I'm medium, but one thing that I can tell you is that one of the main ways you can differentiate is by learning experience. 
Common Time is the ultimate learning experience. No more YouTube videos that you have to watch and make sure they're appropriate and vet and deal with the consequences from them not being appropriate to individual students. No more using those 1986 music textbooks that some of us still had and using that outdated view to show your students music outside of what they're currently working with within those four walls. If you want to differentiate the learning experiences that you are offering to your students, you need to be using the Common Time platform to bring a guest artist into your classroom. Common Time is the ultimate learning experience. Why? Because of our roster of international artists with specializations across all the disciplines. Number two, because of that chat feature that lets you tell the artist, hey, we have a concert next week. Hey, our students are presenting watercolors at the elementary school art show next week. How can we give them meaningful feedback and help them touch up their paintings? That is why our sessions are personalized and customizable, because you are working directly with this guest artist to get exactly what you need out of these sessions. If you want to differentiate your learning experiences, bring in a guest artist and do it with us. Educators, we're done showing movies on substitute day. We're done writing substitute plans that don't get followed. From now on, your ultimate go-to substitute plan is to get on Common Time and book an artist to come into your classrooms. All the sub has to do is open that email, click the link, just like most of you saw the link here for this session, and let that artist actually do some work with your students. No more sacrificing days. Like I said, I come from the band world. Once again, our platform is optimized from the arts. It doesn't have the same automatic volume and voice modulation features that some other video conferencing platforms offer. Me coming from the band world, if you are a band director and you're looking for someone to come in and have students play through their solo and ensemble music, in 10 minute windows so that the entire class gets some feedback on that day. Consider booking me to come into your class. I was teaching band online in China for a year and I actually came up with a pretty decent method for actually rehearsing via video platform. If you need someone to come in and get your students playing while you are away, Consider coming in and getting a percussion or a bassoon or a viola or a band director artist into your room to keep the learning happening, even on days where you might have a substitute. We're done depending on substitutes to provide nothing for our students. Common time is your new substitute plan. We talk about collaboration so much, but how often do your students get to see you collaborating with a real working artist? Bringing in a guest artist, especially on the Common Time platform, lets you model collaboration to your students. You can let them know, hey, me and this artist, we built this session together because we knew it would engage you. They can see you working with a real artist and see that collaboration firsthand. Next, bringing in a guest artist simply takes some of the load off your plate. Like I mentioned earlier, if you're not an oboe player, you might need to consider joining one of our tiered membership options and getting a discount on bringing in a double read specialist into your classroom using our platform. If you're a drama teacher who's not a choreographer, you should consider joining one of our tiered membership off offers so that you can more economically bring in a professional choreographer into your classroom to work with your students and explore movement with them. Use Common Time to make your job easier by providing you with a personalized custom learning experience on demand at your fingertips. In the pandemic, I think the days of field trips and 
bringing in guest artists in person are going to continue to be difficult for a long time. With Common Time, you can take your students to Hong Kong. You can take your students to New York City. You can take your students to all of these places, all from right there in your classes. You can take your students to Germany. You can take your students to Ohio. You can take your students to so many places using the platform. They can go to Vienna, Massachusetts, Delhi, India, Florida, Hong Kong, North Carolina, Texas, India, again, Missouri, Germany, all corners of the country and all corners of the globe, your students can receive meaningful learning experiences from people that live in these cultures without worrying about safety, testing, COVID restrictions. We've got it right here on demand. These artists are waiting for you to bring them into your classroom. And last but not least, we as educators should aspire to be lifelong learners. And by bringing in a guest artist, you might learn something new. For the band folks out there, did you know that you could use that trill fingering? For the dance teachers out there, choreography options for the musical that you're producing. For you visual artists out there, did you know that there may be different ways for you to produce from film? There may be different methods for you to paper mache. There may be different ways for you to dry paint or make sculptures. Did you know that? For you theater people, do your students have experience reciting text in another language? Did you know that? Do you know these languages? You can learn something too from these guest artists. And the best part about our community here at Common Time is the more you educators use it, the more you educators bring guest artists into your classrooms, you will find new ways to incorporate this new level of expertise into your rooms. So let's recap. We went on a tour of the platform. We talked a little bit about ourselves as a business and our business model, but I wanna talk about you. Please, educators, take this time to follow us on Instagram at commontime.online. Find our Facebook page, which is Common Time. I think it's just Common Time. No, it's Common Time Online is the Facebook page, Common Time Online. We also have two Facebook groups, Common Time for Artists and Common Time for Educators. There we will be engaging in discussions, hosting comments, comments, hosting content, also commenting, um, giving live real-time feedback to our users, allowing you an accessible way to reach us. We can be reached by email at info at commontime.online. I want to remind you to head up to our blog here, right in the homepage tab on commontime.online. So you can check out what we're doing in long form, see an article from our founder and CEO, Christine, and also see our new interview series called Common Time One-on-One, -on -One, where we sit down with the people that are making it happen in education, in the arts, in wellness, and just in life. We have our second episode coming out soon, but I'll keep that guest under wraps until we release it. We need a little bit more surprise in our lives, don't we? We looked at what your profile is gonna look like. We looked at what it looks like to book an artist. You see here exactly what the sessions will look like for you. And I hope you use some of those means of communication to get in touch with us. What would you like to see from a guest artist platform like ours? What could you add? What could we add? What are some ways I didn't mention that you could use guest artists in your classroom to connect with your curriculum? 
Once again, my name is Michael Skillern. I'm the Education and Outreach Coordinator here at Common Time, and I cannot wait for all of you lovely educators to begin and continue using guest artists in your classes to provide an engaging, delightful, meaningful learning experience with far-reaching global context for you and your students. Please stay tuned for our weekly Wednesday webinar series, as well as our us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn for more updates about the things that we have next. Thank you so much. I'm going to continue interacting with some of the educators that we have here on the call. I appreciate you all for sitting here with me. Follow us for more updates.